They are the faces of some of those Alexander Coty kidnapped, tortured and condemned to death. Aid workers, journalists, British, American and Japanese. For the families of the American dead, this was the first chance to see the man who inflicted such horror as he admitted his crimes against them. The justice, fairness and humanity that this defendant received in the United States stand in stark contrast to the cruelty, inhumanity and indiscriminate violence touted by the terrorist organization that he espoused. So many miles from the Syrian battlefield where he was the one in judgment, Koti admitted guilt, but without any obvious trace of it. The court was told Koti was part of the so-called Beatles ISIS cell from London. Under a plea deal for the Americans, he admitted eight counts of conspiracy to kidnap and commit murder. This plea deal means that Koti can return to the UK in 15 years to serve out his sentence. But for that to even be a possibility, he's had to agree to speak with the families who wish to speak to him, to explain how he kidnapped their relatives, brutalised them and sent them to their deaths. James Foley was one of those killed. His family were amongst those in court to see Coty plead guilty. This is the first time we'd ever seen Alexander Coty. Um, it was kind of rather sobering to think that any human being could have committed all the horrific things he pleaded guilty to. Do you want to meet him? I think so. Because I, I really, I guess it's hard for me to understand anyone um, like Alexander. And I do have some questions I'd like to ask of him, if I can, if I, if I can summon the courage to. Today, the daughter of David Haynes, the murdered British hostage, once again pleaded for detail as to where her father's body is. That torment is shared by so many of these families as they consider whether to meet Coty, a man who will be given a life sentence rather than the death sentence he placed on those they love. Emma Murphy, ITV News in the United States.